hello everyone, Mac for back here again, and I'm sorry for the um the little in the background. Um, there's just some random phenomenon occurring where demons have conquered my computer. Sorry, I thought the wavelength went down for a second, and uh, they decide to make a random quirk in my uh, headset. So I just wanted to make a little message out there uh, for those of you who are wondering what is. Uh, hold on, my computer's going. Oh. Huh. Never mind. Okay. Well, either way. <laughs> Sorry, the audio is just weird today. Um. So the thing that happened with yes, yeah, just 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 keep keep going, computer. Anytime you want. Okay. Uh. Sorry about that. Um. So yeah, a thing came up. Uh. I was trying to politely convince Jared to not be a bitch and play Zambies. But what happened was this happened. And I just want to tell all of you, yeah, I have, I'm going to guarantee you that it's fake. And I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to break it all down for you. First, I'm going to read it, though. This is an automated message from LTD Services. Or LTD, spelled with a period after it. It's very important. Space Services. Jared Chenfield has requested us to block any contact from you past 12 o'clock. We thank you for your cooperation. Now, we'd like to keep our customers satisfied, so please do not attempt to contact Jared Chanfield any further. Obviously, fake, I reply. Then then he just sent it again. I say, copy and paste. If I block, uh, I'll cover that later. Um, please note that it says Galeshin. I know probably none of you speak German, but if you do, that means red, as you know. Because you don't know, then screw you. Uh, then after I reply again, it says, as we see, you continue to interrupt our customer as requested. You will now be blocked by LTD services until we are told otherwise. Thank you for your compliance. And I said, no, and I just go off and say some stuff, um, which I'll explain right now. Now, first, breakdown. Uh, typos first. Because we all love our little typos, even if some of us speak English and spell them the words in English differently than others. I would like to at least point out that LTG would not have a period afterwards. It would either have it between each letter, or it would not have one at all. Also, two, pa two spaces in between LTD and services. <clears throat> yeah, I know I rock. Um, let's see what else. And it says um, Jared's specific name. Um, he's the not. Um, he's. I can guarantee you, he's not the current holder of his um, service. So either it would protect his identity using like just the number, or it would just like even if there, this were a thing, it would protect the identity, of course, or it would use the actual holder of the uh, accounts. Need, which it nine times out of ten would not do. Um, request us to block contact past twelve o'clock. Twelve o'clock would be written out, and there's two spaces between past and twelve. <laughs> yes, I can. Uh, it's so obvious that there's two spaces between that. Um, I'm going to assume that he had this in a notepad before that, um, and then just copied it from that, replaced some stuff. No, he actually didn't. He just used pronouns. Yay. It would, um, also, it would confirm the number by saying instead of you, it would probably put my number in there. And I just reply, obviously, fake. Let's see here. And then, um, sends it again. If, um, and then he goes to the next message. This would either hap occur, like, that first warning message, that would either occur once or not, um, not at all. Or three times. So, yeah, just if you're gonna fake this, fake it correctly. And don't do it to a tech geek. Please don't. And then this part um, was actually, there was a very long pause. It was about 37 seconds between the, the me sending the message and then um, this thing. And let's see here. It says our customer. It would again. It would usually put the name of the um, the, the caller number. 
not caller, receiver, of messages, m number, sorry for fucking that up. Until we are told otherwise, thank you for your compliance. First off, I was not complying. That's a lie. It's a straight up right lie. Oh yeah, and also I forgot to mention, um, it says, we like to keep our customers satisfied. Now would have a comma after it. Or it wouldn't be there at all. Actually, it shouldn't really be there. It's not grammatically correct. Um, so please do not attempt to contact this person any further. That is a dead giveaway to me. Um, because what happens is, usually when something like this would happen, it would just set off the block right away. No denying that. So that gives a dead giveaway. It, they wouldn't need to say that, and they would not want to waste a character count on that. Because it costs money to send those characters over and decrypt it between um, going to the cell tower and then the cell phone that's, go that's going to receive it. Uh, let's see. It says, until told otherwise, which contradicts its previous statement um, of just past 12 o'clock. And it doesn't give me, like, it would usually put 12 to some time, let's just say, for example, 6 a.m., and also since it says 12 o'clock it doesn't specify midnight or noon unless if it's using military time which it's incorrect then uh... let's see here uh... service until we are told otherwise yeah until we are told otherwise it's in automation and also i'm pretty sure that i was speaking to him via text earlier on past midnight which makes this very very dead giveaway that it wouldn't take like BAM it wouldn't have a file everything so that it blocked my thing past 12 o'clock so yeah uh, can't really give Jared any credit for this at all because it's absolutely shitty the way he did it um, and I continued to do things. The one thing that I can give him credit for is the stubbornness of not clicking on my thing because I end up spamming him a lot. <coughs> I even put one of my YouTube comments in, which as some of you might know, most of my YouTube comments are huge. Um, so yeah, all in all, this is a very, very, very poor fake. Like, there are some people who are good at faking shit, like whoever did um, Survivor 20 something, 2288 or something, whatever it was for Fallout. And there's very, very bad people like Jared. Um, if you weren't paying, a, if you wouldn't pay attention to this type of stuff, then you wouldn't actually see it. You'd be like, oh, okay. But since I pay attention to everything, mostly, uh, yeah, I immediately find out oh this is fake so thank you all for watching uh, please comment rate subscribe i need to whore out this channel so you need to whore out this channel too or else jared will come and he will fake stuff to you thanks for watching alvitor's